There we go. Live and in living color coming from Como Lake. In the southeast. Lake Como. Why am I always wrong? I don't know. I'm always wrong. Just do something a little bit like that. Because Bam. girls are always right. Bam. I'm just bad. We got a nice <laughs> audience today that joined us here at the Como Lake. Lake Como. Southeast corner of Wisconsin. I'm drinking out of a reindeer. In here in Wisconsin, one of the few reindeer that are still alive, <laughs> holding coffee in its head. Yes. Not so much. Anyway, one of the Santa's reindeer. On my left, it's a big day because we have Miss Kira. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be talking about something that's happened to you over the past 60 days. I know. How and, crazy is that? And uh, Miss Kira is uh, part of the hashtag and invite her uh, campaign Yes. that started with the LPGA about back in August 28th. And I am called the old Uncle Randy. So, <laughs> old. Yeah. You're not old. I old. never used the word old. Well, old. Whatever. I was like, whatever. It what is. are you talking it's about? It's very old. Anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is what's happened to Miss Kira yes. in the past 60 to 90 days. She was a happy volunteer. <laughs> I, I was a happy volunteer. Right. I it only took you a year to finally yeah. figure it out to well, teach me. <laughs> we live so far away from a golf course. We're and in driving distance. We can sort see of. it from here. Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, what happened was is that back on August 28th, the LPGA announced a new initiative to grow the game called Hashtag Invite Her, capital H, capital E, capital R. Mm -hmm. And what they wanted to do was invite people into the game of golf, women particularly, that had never played the game, never swung the club, never had the opportunity to get involved, right? Right. Gold standard example, sitting on my <laughs> left, Miss Kira said, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> I said I want to do that. I know she did. I was, and I was enthusiastic about she what you were talking about. She was extremely enthusiastic. We called up Nadia Allen that put out on a PR release about October 1st, and we had Nadia of the LPGA come on our show. Yes. And she told us all about what hashtag invite her meant. Yes. And then we sat and talked about it a little bit after that. Yeah, you, you know, taught me how to putt. We went down and she had her first putting lesson about four or five days later. Yes. And you did quite well. I know. Okay, and I will tell you, Miss Kira had never swung a club. Anybody that would sit and, you know, she didn't have to convince you on that. And that's, <laughs> that's a cool thing. So we've had a lot of fun since that time. Yes. But what happened was about three weeks after Miss Kira started having fun is that, um, it began to evolve and to gain momentum, yes. and uh, we created uh, something we thought would be good to go up on the LPGA uh, social platform, and it was called Miss Kira 18 Plus One Steps Into Golf. Yeah. And it was, it was pretty cool. Um, basically, uh, it covered what kind of things, Miss Kira? Clubs, yeah. finding a mentor, yeah. clothing, right. um, public courses, right. private courses. Yeah. The guard shop. The guard house. The guard house. There you go. <laughs> How do you drop? We haven't got to where you drop your clubs yet. I think we're. I think do, we did that did one. Did we do that? I think we did uh, that. We'll one. sit and see. Anyway, I think we did. It was we, a couple of weeks ago. You can go to Miss Kira's page on Facebook, and you can see the uh, Miss Kira uh, eighteen plus one steps into golf. Yep. Going to be one a week leading up to the PGA show. Yep. And down at the PGA show at the Equipment Testing Center, we're going to do the final four. Yeah. With a lot of support. But right now, Miss Kira, what's happened? A lot has happened. Yeah. How's your, yeah. how's your, uh, so for you, and since that, that time has happened, how's your corporate life changed? My corporate life has changed tremendously. Now yeah. I am the VP of marketing. Yeah. Who knew? Now, <laughs> but in terms of people that, I mean, owning, getting into golf. Yes. You've learned a lot about golf. I have. I looked at a book that last week and it was about the golf world and I said, I already know half of that stuff, so I didn't buy <laughs> <laughs> so a year ago, you didn't even follow the PGA Tour, even know what that meant, right? I knew what it meant. I just didn't follow it. I only right. followed it because of our podcast. That's true. But so, other than that. So I, actually, Mascara came over at Thanksgiving, and we watched Tiger and Phil. Yep. Every stroke. Yes. And then every week now, Mascara's passionately been following the PGA Tour, because she's got some favorites that she likes to follow. Yes. And uh, Did you know that was Ricky Fowler's 30th birthday yesterday? You know, I saw that, but I can't believe he'd be playing golf on TV. I saw your video that put up there. I don't think he's playing golf. No, it was. He Just was. Videos. Those videos throughout the years. And I said, it's really weird that we are so close in About birthdays. About the same age, right? Yeah. So he's, you, you, he's literally a couple of days. Yesterday, it was Thursday. All right. And my birthday is on Tuesday. So. And you're both 30? Yep. 
Yeah. There's a big one coming up next I week. I know. Sweet. Send the presents to Post Office Box 893, <laughs> Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, <laughs> 53417. And uh, let Miss Kira know that you're thinking of her. <laughs> Small checks and big cards are fine. It's not a problem. Anyway, just kidding. <laughs> not. <clears throat> anyway, in the corporate life, getting back to that, golf has really changed your life a little bit. It has. Yeah. I mean, last year at the PGA show, I was a little intimidated. A little novice. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't know anything. But now this year, I am pretty excited yeah. because I know a lot more. Yeah, and you're now a, a participant on our weekly Happy Hour Golf Show. Yes. <clears throat> I bring some substance to You bring a lot of substance. <laughs> And since she's been doing that, everybody wants to talk to Miss Kira and not old Uncle Randy. So, and that's yeah, fine. that's just our yeah. that's just from our podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, what's happened is is that Miss Kira has taken over a lot of corporate responsibilities. She's learned a lot about the magazine. Uh, she's taken over, been promoted to vice president uh, in charge of marketing, and yep. along the way. Uh, she has uh, put together a great team yep. uh, for the magazine. She's in charge of putting it together, and she's brought on two new people, uh, Miss Joanne and Miss Andrea. We're going to meet in the next few days, yes. talking about the magazine as it comes out. Yep. And uh, But what happened is, is that you see that growth, and everything that we did went up on the LPGA social network. Yeah. And that was really a lot of fun, uh, seeing that grow, and then people that might want to sit and work with us in terms of marketing and advertising and be that are going to be coming to the game and wanting to uh, understand the game and grow in the game, find right. out where to buy clothes, where to buy clubs, get fitted, and all of those good things. So what's happened because of that, yeah. when we evaluated, to that to that to that drum roll, of all, how many people wait, wait, bought, wait, hold on. Happened? I think we, st- we stopped.